Not getting something you want or expect can be a real disappointment. These disappointments can be major triggers to challenging behaviors. In the next scene, we're going to see how one student copes with not getting something he wants, in this case, access to outdoor recreation time because of bad weather. Let's see how he copes. Hold on, Michael. It's raining outside. I don't think I'll be able to go outside for rec time. What? I'm going. If you push past me, no rec time. I'm going. If you push past me, you're losing your rec time. I don't care. You lost your rec time. Sometimes change in routine can lead to anger. Sometimes the student doesn't know what's in it for them if they can accept no, what, what, what there is to still look forward to. Maybe they don't know when they're going to get what they want. We can prevent these kinds of problems by teaching a student how to accept no, what's in it for them if they can accept no for an answer. We can prime them ahead of time about uh, what kinds of good things they still have to look forward to even if they can't get something else that they want. Hey Mike, can you always get everything you want? No. No, sometimes you don't get what you want. So I want to teach you how to accept no and go with the flow. Right? What that means is, number one, sometimes others say no when you ask for something, right? Mm -hmm. Number two, if you don't get mad, others will be pleased and they might give you what you want later. Or if they can't do that, give you something else you want. So number three, stay calm and ask, when can I have it? Or what else can I have? So we're going to practice this. I'm going to ask you for the computer. You're the teacher and you're going to say, nope, you can't use the computer. Let's see if I accept no. You ready? Hey, can I use the computer now? No. So I'm not getting what I want, but if I don't get mad, you might be pleased. You might give me something what I want later or uh, give me something else I want. So I'm going to ask, well, when can I have the computer? Um, two o'clock. Oh, okay. Well, well, what else can I do? Uh, play chess. Oh, I like chess. Is that okay? Yep. Well, I'll play chess. All right, so let me ask you, Mike. Did I accept no and go with the flow? Yes. Did I get mad? No. Nope. So I got something else I wanted by being cool. All right. So let's, let's have you try it. So you're going to ask me for the computer, all right? So go ahead and say, can I use the computer? Can I use the computer? No, nope, not, not, not now. Um, when, oh, oh, when can I have it? Oh, at 2 o'clock. Oh, what else can I do? Well, you could play a game. I mean, would you like to play chess? Yes. Okay. So are you cool with that? Yes. Ah, so Mike, did you accept no and go with the flow? Yes. You did, you stayed cool, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now that we taught this student how to accept no and go with the flow, let's see how he deals with not being able to go outside. Hi, Michael. Hi, how are you? Good. The weather doesn't look too promising today, so it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to go out for, for rec. So we're gonna stay indoors and uh, we have some really cool things to do. How does music or video or indoor game sound? Um, that sounds good to me. Okay, good. I'm ready for outdoor rec. It's raining outside, so we won't be able to go out for outdoor rec, but I have some other cool things we can do. When can we go outside? Maybe tomorrow if the weather's a little bit nicer. What can we do instead? I do have some, um, we have some video games, music, some favorite indoor games. Um, do you have chess? Yes, I do. We'll set it up. Thanks, that'll work for me. Okay. Good game. Okay, Michael, so did you accept no when you couldn't go out? Yes. Did you stay calm and ask when you could go out? Yes. Excellent job. You didn't get into trouble and you had fun doing it. Thanks. So what did we learn? Instead of escalating the problem with punishment, we tried to prevent the problem. We taught the youngster a better way to think about handling disappointments. We primed him ahead of time what's in it for him if he can handle that. We coached him in the moment to remind him what he can still look forward to if he doesn't get what he wants. And then we reviewed with him afterwards.